And now to an epic journey to some of the most interesting places in the world in a new series called Rogue Trip on Disney Plus. Our own Bob Woodruff and his son Mac partner with our friends at National Geographic to travel to countries with reputations that might make them seem like unlikely tourist hotspots. I spoke with Bob and Mac yesterday, but first here's a sneak peek of the new show. My son Mac and I are on a big and beautiful adventure. I used to be a war correspondent until I got wounded, blown up in Iraq. But I didn't want my kids to grow up fearful because of what happened. I'm Mac Woodruff. My dad has seen the worst in some of the world's most troubled regions. And now, we're hitting the road to seek out the best in them. You have to make it big up to show love. <laughs> I wanted to connect with people in more of a real, authentic way. <laughs> I love doing this right now, but I love doing this with you. My 10-year-old self would probably be pretty jealous of all the time I get to spend with you now. Looks great. Excited to see that. Bob and Mac join us now. So it sounds like you guys are, are trying to show these countries in a new light. What did you find during your travels? Oh, so, so much, Lindsay. I mean, it was... Uh, I think we have these images of certain countries going through, you know, war, catastrophes, environmental collapses, and we just wanted to make sure that people have a chance to see some of the, these countries in different places at different times. And I think we saw beauty that we didn't even know was there. We knew there was beauty, but we saw things that we didn't really know what was there before, and, and a lot of fun things to do, let's put it that way. Yeah, definitely. I imagine uh, strengthening the father-son bond along the way. Yeah, I, I mean, it's been a long time since I spent so much time with my dad, not probably since I was 15, 16, 17 years old. And even then, I was just itching to get out. But it's a different experience when you're 28 and you get asked to travel with your dad to, to make a TV show to go all around the world. It's been probably the best. It was probably the best four or five months of my life. And we definitely bridged the gap between father and son and became roommates again and colleagues <laughs> for the first time. So it's, it's been un unbelievable. a better father than I was. <laughs> time of your life. That sounds so exciting. Uh, what did you find to be the most surprising throughout this journey? What was the most surprising for you? I think seeing Ethiopia was probably the most surprising to me. I, I had such a concept in my head of what this country looked like, and it didn't look anything like that. I mean, it was didn't feel impoverished, didn't feel like there was a drought, it didn't feel like it looked like a desert. I had all these images of what Ethiopia was. And what we actually saw were these massive mountains and these lush fields and these some of the we hung out with the fastest runners in the world and we saw Africa's biggest cave. These are all things I didn't know existed within its borders and I just fell in love with the place. I think that point was for me was uh, Chernobyl in Ukraine. Who would have thought that we could go to the most you know dangerous place in the world like that? I, mean, I just remember 30 years ago when that happened and you know, the most radiational destruction in the history of our planet and there we were with my kids <laughs> walking through Chernobyl. So that was a little shocking. And Bob, you've reported so much on the human experience, traversed the globe many times, but in this show, we're gonna see you guys get well acquainted with some wildlife, like speaking of Ethiopia, a hyena that was there. What were some of those experiences like? Well, I think we were almost, uh, we were kind of risking our lives to be so close to those particular ones. So they have the, the strongest, most powerful bites of any animal in the world, and there they were, right, right on our, our shoulders. Yeah, risky. Uh, the hot breath of a hyena on the back of your neck is something that I don't recommend to most people, but it was an incredible experience. We saw a lot of beautiful things in Colombia. We were in the Amazon, Ethiopia. We, we went and saw you know a bunch of wildlife at high altitudes that I didn't know existed. We went on a safari. Um, Papua New Guinea is full of, full of amazing wildlife. We went searching for crocodiles with our bare feet. We did something called a turtle rodeo, which was basically a scientific exercise in tagging male turtles, where you just jump onto their backs off of the side of a boat. We, it's a lot of stuff out there. And we survived. And, and Bob, why was it so important for you to bring your son along for the ride with you? I think it's just the same that I wanted to tell everybody out there in the world, because he's, he's my son that you know grew up watching this on television. He watched his own father in places like this reporting only the bad, and he didn't get a chance of the good. And I just wanted to make sure that he knew that, yes, I was making some risks when I went to these types of countries, but I also wanted him to know that I wanted to show something to somebody in the, in the 
in the present time. You know, I want people to know that things have changed for a lot of these countries. And even if the countries are still in bad conditions, they still have amazing spots within them. We didn't want to be unbalanced reporting too beautiful or too bad. We wanted to somehow establish that that mix somewhere in the middle with a real a real uh, ratio that was proper. And it's educational. Priceless expedition, we can imagine, uh, for both the two of you as, as father and son and, and world travelers as well. We're excited to see it. Bob and Mac, thank you so much. Be sure to watch Road Trip, which starts streaming on Disney Plus on July 24th. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.